Hello viewers, today we will discuss a little more about glycolysis and this time we will study it in red blood cells or we also known as Rippaport Lubring cycle. You all know uh, that uh, red blood cells are more unique cell as compared to the other cells when we come or we talk about glycolysis because red blood cells are deficient of mitochondria so there is no respiratory chain no citric acid cycle and no oxidation of fatty acids or ketone bodies in it so and that means if no respiratory chain no citric acid cycle and no oxidation of fat that means that the whole source of red blood cells is glucose and glycolysis is the only source of ATP production which lead to lactic acid production also known as anaerobic glycolysis because it's lacking mitochondria and uh, so there is no way of uh, like citric acid cycle to proceed in red blood cell. So the ATP which is produced by these red blood cells from the glycolysis is being utilized for two purposes in the red blood cell. One is uh, that, that it maintains the bioconcave shape of the red blood cells which help in the carrying of the hemoglobins and that could easily move through the arteries, the smaller arteries and veins in delivering the oxygen to the tissues. So it has a very important role in that. And secondly, the ATP which are produced from glycolysis is also used for ion concentration inside and outside the cells. So that regulation of these ions in the red blood cells, just like as we had studied in sodium potassium ATPase pump. So this energy will help uh, it to uh, transport certain ions such as potassium against the concentration gradient inside the cell or outside the cell. So if you look into the process of glycolysis in the red blood cells, uh, the ripoport lubring cycle uh, is a kind of a supplementary pathway Ripoport Lubring cycle is uh, basically mainly concerned with the synthesis of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate in red blood cells. So we all know that in main pathway of glycolysis, 1,3-bisphosphoglycerates are formed and then from there 3-phosphoglycerate and 2-phosphoglycerate are formed. But here in this cycle, it slightly deviates from 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and with the help of isomerase enzyme or mutase enzyme, it is converted into 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate in case of red blood cells. So that 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate which is basically produced in glycolysis is converted into 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate with the help of enzyme that is 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate mutase. We all know that wherever the mutase enzyme is involved in glycolysis it has some isomerization reaction. So in that case 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate the phosphate group from the carbon number 1 and will be shifted to carbon number 2 so that will be 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate mutase. We will look into its importance into in the next slide. 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate is then hydrolyzed to 3-phosphoglycerate by phosphoglycerate phosphatase. So another enzyme which is phosphoglycerate phosphatase which is a biofunctional enzyme which has a mutase or isomerase activity and it also has a phosphatase activities. So it will catalyze it to different site by the same enzyme so that enzyme will help in conversion of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate into 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate and then that will be converted into 3-phosphoglycerates. This uh, pathway which is or the cycle which is also known as supplementary pathway to glycolysis happened uh, normally 15 to 25 percent of the glucose that gets converted to lactate in erythrocyte. So um, that deviation from the main pathway by formation of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate is actually uh, happen normally from 15 to 25 percent cases uh, in the red blood cells which basically form you the lactate via 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate. Here you will uh, get the exact uh, feelings that how this reaction is taken place. Uh, if you can see this, this is the normal pathway of the glycolysis. Uh, if we look at it into short that glucose is converted by uh, into pyruvate and uh, in the meanwhile in investment phase 2 ATP are used and from that uh, splitting phase after that glycerin dehyde 3 phosphate is then converted with the help of NAD to NADH 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate is formed and then 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate then give away 1 ATP and it give you 3-phosphoglycerate and then 2-phosphoglycerate, phosphine pyruvate and then pyruvate. However, in red blood cells 
from here, the lupoport labeling cycles are formed, which we said that in 15 to 25% cases that will deviate from the normal pathway. So if you zoom this uh, process from where a lipoport lubricant cycle uh, initiated, and that is the 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate with the help of mutase enzyme, which is converted to 3-bisphosphoglycerate, and that 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate with the help of phosphatase, it will give away one phosphate molecule, and that will give you 3-phosphoglycerate. So this is basically a lipoport lubricant cycle. So the question is, why this thing happened? Why the red blood cells deviate from the normal pathway and uh, it gave you the supplementary pathway. The reason behind that, when uh, that red blood cells have to dissipate the energy, because in normal process we said that one ATP it will produce to when it will be converted from one three bisphosphoglycerate to three phosphoglycerate, and of course there will be certain kinase enzyme involved in it, which will give you an ATP. So if there are two glucose, uh, one glucose molecule, the cycle is continue will continue twice because here. A molecule of glucose has been split into two molecules of glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate. So that means two ATP uh, will be produced here and two ATP will be produced here uh, by from one glucose which has been entered into glycolysis process. The importance of this cycle is that this ATP will not be formed. So two ATPs will not be formed because from here this cycle deviates from 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and it goes via 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate and with the help of phosphatase enzyme, it then re-enters into 3-phosphoglycerate. So it basically bypass this step. And uh, one, uh, two ATP per glucose will be produced in less amount. So net ATP that will be produced with uh, when the red blood cells uh, go through the repoport lubricant cycle, it will give you like uh, uh, the net ATP will be zero because uh, two ATP will be lost here and two ATP will be produced uh, only at the, at the stage of pyruvate kinase. And uh, if two ATP are produced over here and two ATP has been invested over here, so that will give you the zeros ATP. So that is important because the red blood cells, when there is no need of energy, so it will go through this cycle to dissipate energy or waste the energy. So this is a normal process for the red blood cell when it not did not need any energy. So it will go through that cycle. Secondly, the NADH which is produced during glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate to 13 bisphosphoglycerate is basically used uh, for the reduction of the oxidized cytochrome B5. So that oxidized cytochrome B5 will be reduced by NADH and NADH will be converted into NAD. So this cycle will remain continued and this reduced cytochrome will help in the reduction of the iron which has an important role in the transportation of the uh, oxygen and hemoglobin is main part of the hemoglobin as well. So uh, why RBC need 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate? One, we have said that lipoport lubricant cycle is important for dissipation of the energy. So, uh, so that help you in dissipate of energy when there is no need for the erythrocyte because we know that glycolysis is the sole uh, pathway in erythrocyte for energy production. So it will help if there is no need of energy in erythrocyte, it will help to dissipate or waste the energy. Secondly, 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate has combines with the hemoglobin and reduce the hemoglobin affinity with oxygen to help oxyhemoglobin unload more oxygen to the tissue. So 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate which is formed during repoport lubricant cycle in red blood cell, uh, it has indirect relation with the hemoglobin. Means if 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate cycle produce more 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate, it will result in low affinity uh, of hemoglobin with oxygen. So if there is low affinity of hemoglobin with oxygen that will result in more unloading of the oxygen to the tissue. So it means that if we are in a situation when there is a hypoxic condition or we are at high altitude when there is a deficiency of oxygen or we can say in a fetal tissue because the mother uh, red blood cells have to provide oxygen to the all of the tissues of the fetus uh, so there will be increased demand of oxygen in that case as well and an anemic condition when hemoglobin levels are low. So in all these conditions, 2,3 uh, bisphosphoglycerate will increase in the blood um, in red blood cells because more, more amount of glucose glycolysis process will happen through repoport lubricant cycle so that more amount of 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate could be formed because it will result in low affinity with of hemoglobin with oxygen and that low affinity will help them uh, to provide more amount of oxygen 
to the hypox uh, to the tissue in hypoxic condition in high altitude uh, condition so if there will be no low affinity of hemoglobin with oxygen so it will result in more unloading of the oxygen to the tissue so that will help in uh, reduce the severity of the hypoxic condition high altitude or fetal tissue so that's one of the way that uh, bodies uh, the red blood cells uh, adopt the ripoport lubrics cycle or that supplementary pathway to increase the 2-3 base phosphoglyce rate level so that more amount of oxygen could be delivered to the tissues when body demand. Another way, uh, another uh, pathological condition could arise if there is a deficiency of the hexokinase enzyme. We all know that the hexokinase is the first regulatory enzyme of the glycolysis. So if due to certain reason hexokinase deficiency in a person that will lead to low production of 2-3 base phosphoglyce rate. So, uh, we have already uh, know that 2-3 base phosphoglyce rate have indirect relation with the uh, hemoglobin. So there are if there are uh, hemoglobin affinity to oxygen. So uh, if there are low production of 2-3 base phosphoglyce rate in red blood cells, it means it will have high oxygen affinity with the uh, uh, through hemoglobin. So uh, in that case, hemoglobin will be tightly bound with the uh, hemoglobin. Oxygen will be tightly bound with the hemoglobin, and it will not low unload it easily to the tissue so it will be difficult to unload the oxygen to the tissue as while other way around if there is a pyruvate kinase deficiency and we know that pyruvate kinase is the uh, third regulatory enzymes uh, which convert phosphoenol pyruvate into pyruvate so if it is deficiency in a person of this enzyme that will lead to high production of 2,3 base phosphoglycerate and 2,3 uh, base phosphoglycerate in red blood cells uh, if it is high that will result in low affinity uh, oxygen affinity so unloading of the oxygen to the tissue will be a lot easier but remember one point that uh, due, uh, in between the physiological range that fluctuation which is maintained by the 2-3 base phosphoglyce rate level um, or report lubring cycle is uh, a normal thing but if it is deficiency of certain enzyme that could uh, lead to an abnormal results because body will be unable to maintain that uh, narrow range of the 2-3 base phosphoglyce rate level so that was all about uh, report tubing cycle see you in a lecture till then allah face